guys, this episode we're talking about form objects and how you can use that pattern to build out some more complex forms in a really well-organized way inside your Rails app. So one of these examples that is pretty easy to get started with on form objects is the idea of a contact form. So with your contact form, you might want people to type in their name, their email, the body. Maybe you want to put in a CAPTCHA there so that you don't get spam. Um, but you don't really need to save any of this data to your database. You just need it to send you a quick email whenever someone fills it out. So we don't need an active record object, which means that we're forced to go build this form from scratch. And of course, that's not too hard. Let's take a look at the code that I have for that. Um, we have our contacts controller. There's no objects inside of here. Um, if you were to create, you know, we could say contact mailer dot um, message, and we could grab our params and pass them in and deliver later just to send out that email. Um, so that wouldn't be too hard, and then we could redirect to, you know, a success page or something like that if it was successful. And our form is a pretty standard, this should be a form tag, uh, for the URL, the create that we want to hit. And we have our labels for the name, the email, and the body, and so on. And all of that works out pretty well. You can click on any of these and the labels go to the right of fields and all of that. And when you would submit this and save changes, of course this is gonna crash because I haven't written that mailer. So let's comment that out. But um, if you look at the Rails logs, we will see that our params are not very well organized. We have the UTF-8 and authenticity token and then right next to it is our name, email, and body and our commit message for the button. And it, it would be nice if these were well organized for us so that we could grab all of them and verify that they all exist. 